Okay, we're doing a video today to show you how to remove this. I guess it's the center console, isn't it? Yeah, the center console. What else can we call that in? Where is that? We call it the floor console. The floor console. There we go. The floor console. So the bit around the handbrake um, on a Land Rover Freelander 2. Why are we doing it? Um, we're on the hunt. We're hunting the airbag ECU, which is this bad boy, and it lives underneath here somewhere. But it could come in useful for adjusting the handbrake. You'd have to take this up, wouldn't you? Uh, you need to take just the back part off. Back, back, back. But anyway, it might be useful for a whole host of jobs, so let's do it now. Have we disconnected the battery in? We haven't yet. We haven't yet. Right, first yet. job we're going to do is we're going to go and disconnect the battery. We won't show you how to do that, that's easy enough. Yeah. Right, take so we have the battery out. disconnected. Go on then, what are we going to do first, Dean? You can yeah. do it. I'll, I'll sit in the back seat and drive this one. First, you've got to take this front, your ride height adjustment out. Without scratching and my lovely chrome trim. Yeah. So it's just on four spring clips, two front, two rear. Now I'll have a look at those when you've unplugged it. <coughs> and then single connector underneath. Okay, right, let's have a look at those clips. Yep, so sure enough there you can see those little spring clips. And that's the yeah, that's the terrain response module, is it? <coughs> Looks yep. like it. Yeah. Okay, right. What are we up to next? Next is removing a chrome piece. So can we pull it? Can we pull it? Can you give it a yank from where you pulled that thing out? Oh, uh, the easiest place was at the back, and then you give it a yank. You've got a single clip at the back, back. there, so that frees it off. And then I don't know if you can see. You'll be able to see when I get Oh, is out. there a. Yeah, You've well, got to separate the black piece from the chrome. Okay. Because that's the. Um, it's got the electrical connector and stuff on it. So we could do so those. that stays in place. We could do those chrome bits <coughs> in black piano then if we wanted. Yeah. Let's have so a look at that bit. So you've got a single clip at the back, so that's the easiest place to free it. Right, yeah, yeah. And then you just got to lift the two, two side, side clips, and then it looks like it's got two locating dogs at, at the front. front. Yeah, so it hooks in at the front. So you've got to hinge it about the front. Yeah. Okay, excellent. That will then travel through that hole nicely. Yeah. <coughs> um, have we worked out how to take the gear knob off if we do need to? Pull it. Pull it. It's just tried a, that. we tried that, yeah, and short of punching <coughs> ourselves in the face. All right, we'll leave that for now, and then we'll gloss over. Um, you've got four screws at the front, which you can get out. You've got two. two yeah, I can see at the those top well there, me, yeah. and you've got two straight down in the, right. at the edges. Yep. I'll come and have a look at those while you're on that. Where? Oh yes, yeah, so we're looking. Straight They're the same style screw as the front. Now let's have a look at one of those when you get them out. Yeah, don't drop them. We'll get it out. Now we have actually done that. Well, Ian did this before, didn't he? Did this yesterday, didn't he? Yeah. So we should we should look like we know what we're doing. There are seven mil head. Seven. Okay. Um, seven millimeter socket for them. Yep. And they're all the same length, we reckon. Yeah, they should be. So yeah, we're trying to find the <coughs> ECU because we've got to reprogram, clear the faults on this car because this car has had a crash and we've got the airbag gone. You can see the dash. <coughs> but interestingly, the driver's airbag didn't work <coughs> or any other airbags. Right, that's the front. That's all the connections at the front that's done. That's the front right. done. Right, yeah. let me get in the back. Uh, gear gator is next. Um, handbrake even. Ham uh, handbrake gate, yeah. Handbrake gator. Which should push down and unclip. Pull up on one side and go down on the other. And you sort of road, you sort of road twist it, sort of in that orientation. Yeah, I think so yeah. because you've got these clips that go underneath on here, but on the other side, you've got the clips that go down. Okay. So once that's free, that can just hang loose. All right. All right. <coughs> you're joining me in the back now, aren't you? tray you just leave it that or is that just like a rubbery plasticky thing going yeah on? Right, give me that. two clips one at each side okay yeah and then you should <coughs> I'll, use, I'll use that roll screws <coughs> you, you should just be able to reach oh ah, okay that whole panel pops whole out panel like. and we've got a couple of clips and they got a little springy they got anything yeah. weird on them they're just a standard, standard pinch one. Okay. same as at the front as well yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, the same yeah. we can cope with that Let's have a little look at that. And so we got the flash model, haven't we? We got the top yep. of the range, and we got it the audio like it's control. Similar for all of them, though. Yep. Okay. So there they are with the audio controls. Yep, that looks good. 
Happy with that. Two more screws at the back here. Ah, oh, those two there. Those two. Yeah. <coughs> Again, are they there? Seven Again, mil socket. Seven mil, yeah. That should be all six screws that you need to remove to get this out. Oh, we've got the plant eye guy. Oh, he come to collect this ladder. It's all go here today. There's two more screws. Right. So, so far all the screws are the same. That's all yep. handy, isn't it? We can't mix those up. <coughs> then you've got a grey connector underneath the back. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, he's focused now. On the side is just a pin, another pinch in yeah. the lever, yeah. and that will pull out. That can just tuck out the way. <coughs> yeah, we got him. And on this side, you'll need a trim removal tool or a screwdriver just to get that popper out of there. This one what should. Was that? Oh, is that? It's just holding the. It's just holding that cable. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Rear rear, okay, I've got so it. So you yeah. may not have that if you don't have the rear. Yeah. <coughs> the right. deluxe rear entertainment package. And then that should. Should be loose. Right, go on and let's have a let's have a go. I'm gonna go in the front. That should be loose, but there may be one more thing you need to do. You may need to, we had to, release ah. off the handbrake so that you can lift the handbrake higher. Ah oh, yeah 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 okay so let's show them that but there. Do you want to jump in the front? So I've marked <coughs> where it was and we've just unwound. It's a 17 mil hex. You need an open-ended spanner and you can just, just it, yeah. slack it off. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, because cause, yeah, you'll see the problem now. Actually, let me go in the front. So the pro, the problem is now. Yeah, we've got to to get this whole thing out. Only the handbrake will only lift to about there. Isn't it? But you need to get it right up. <coughs> Tuck that down through the slot. It has got a. It is two piece, so it should go down through. Squid, you mean? You should be able to just. Give it a squeeze and a twist. It's not out by our deluxe armrest. It's not, no. <coughs> Lift the front out. Bit of, bit of Tetris going on there. And you're already in your you're, you're robbing me. You know, you're it's hot wiring the bad boy. So you've got to unhook that front, which is why you've got to lift it so far. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise it fouls on your dash. All right, that's it. Is he, he's still caught in there. That. All right, let's have him. Let's have him, miss. Should be. <coughs> oh, I got him. Out and right, yeah. So with that, with that complete, that is the floor console. It's technically called removed. Okay, so we'll give that a clean. Um, and what we're actually looking for, how are we doing with our treasure hunt? Finding the... The airbag ECU. Right there, down in the middle. Right down there in the middle. Okay, <coughs> hidden under some carpet. Yeah, the easiest thing to do, which we've already done, done. Yeah. is cut that centre carpet, Stanley knife or scissors, careful of to see all your wires and bits. Yeah, so we ought to emphasise again, before you start unplugging this ECU, oh, we've got two bits of one, make sure your battery's disconnected, and really you ought to press your brake <coughs> and go and have a cup of tea for ten minutes before coming back to it, so that all the, char the time, all the charges dissipate from the system. There's another really important thing. When you're putting this back together, make sure you screw the ECU down to the floor. There's some stories on the internet where people have just rested it sideways against the seat, plugged it in, and the car's powered up and thought it's been rolled, then deployed the side airbags, and it's all been a bit of fun. So, yeah, I would recommend that you, before you put the battery back on, you reconnect the ECU, you bolt the ECU down, and, and you got... avoid anything underneath it, so grease or anything like that you don't want on the screws because uh, that will insulate it and stop it earthing properly. Yeah. Right, good luck with that. <coughs> <coughs>